Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Heather Monthy, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you some resources to help you study for the FAA Part 107 written exam. So the FAA provides a lot of different resources that you can use to help prepare you to take this exam. And what I did is I put together a blog post on my website. The link is in the description box below where I link to all these different free resources for you. So you can either, uh, some of these resources you can either download as a PDF um, and or you can purchase them for print um, off Amazon or another publisher, which I do that for a couple of different publications just because I'm the kind of person I like to write and scribble and tab and all that kind of stuff. So um, let's go through the resources now. So the first one is the Airman Certification Standards. So the FAA publishes what's called the ACS or the Airman Certification Standards. And that is for um, every you know uh, pilot certificate that's out there. There's certain certification standards that you need to meet in order to exercise the privileges of that certificate, okay? So essentially what it is is it's telling you everything you need to know to pass the test. So if you download that, you can sort of use that as your checklist for the things that you need to study for the FAA Part 107 written exam. It's a really great way to just keep yourself on track and make sure that you have covered all the different things that you need to study before you sit down and uh, uh, take the exam. The next thing is the, um, the Part 107 Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Initial Course that the FAA offers through its FAAsafety.gov website. So the FAA has a website where there's a lot of different um, online tutorials, webinars, workshops, um, and it's also a place where you can go and register for in-person workshops. And uh, so you can go there and you can sign up for that course that is called Part 107 Smart, Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Initial. And that course is actually designed for existing Part 61 pilot certificate holders. So somebody who is already a private pilot or a commercial pilot, airline transport pilot, recreational pilot, sport pilot, could take that course and as long as he or she has a current flight review, wouldn't necessarily need to take the exam. So even if you don't have a Part 61 pilot certificate, this is a great place to get started with learning all the different things that you need to know to sit down and take the FAA Part 107 written exam. Now this course probably isn't gonna prepare you for everything if you're not already a Part 61 pilot or don't have any aviation background, um, but that's why they give you a lot of other resources to help you study. The next thing is the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Now, I get this book in print, and here it is right here, and it's thick. There's a lot of different um, images in here. There's a lot of different knowledge in here. There's a ton of stuff in here, okay? So this book is really sort of the, you know, the main go-to source for any pilot of any certificate hold, of any certificate type. And, um, you know, I started flying airplanes in 1997 and that was one of the very first books that I got. And the FAA does update it, um, you know, on a regular basis. You can download the individual chapters as PDFs, but like I said, because there's a lot of different images in there, those files can get really big. So you have to download each individual chapter. And you don't necessarily need to read the whole book to prepare for the FAA Part 107 written exam. It's an interesting book. There's a lot of stuff to learn. You certainly, I recommend sitting down and reading it. But in order to prepare for the Part 107 exam, you should definitely read and have a solid understanding of chapters 2, 11, and 14. And that will give you a good understanding of aeronautical decision making or ADM, weather, and airport operations. So like I said, you can download individual PDFs. I've also put a link in the uh, blog post and in the description box below where you can purchase the most current version of the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge off of Amazon. I do suggest that you make sure that you have the most current version of the 
uh, of the book. Um, like I said, the FAA does uh, update that every so often, so just make sure that when you're purchasing it off of Amazon that you're getting the most current updated version. The next thing that you need to know is 14 CFR Part 107. So 14 CFR Part 107 is the Code of Federal Regulations that acting as a small unmanned aircraft operator as a commercial operator under part 107 those are the laws that you need to follow when you're exercising the privileges the privileges of that certificate so you can um you can get a huge book and i don't even have a current one because i don't buy it anymore because it's available online but it's called the far aim and so this book is published every year and the FARs are the Federal Aviation Regulations, and then the AIM is the Aeronautical Information Manual. And so the FARs cover all the different things in all the different areas of aviation. CFR Part 107 is what you need to know in order to be um, act as a commercial remote pilot, essentially. So you want to make sure to read that those regulations and understand them like the back of your hand because that's what the test is going to be on. The next thing that you can study for the Part 107 written exam is Advisory Circular 107-2. And so what an advisory circular is, is a supplemental document that the FAA provides pilots, um, you know, anybody involved in aviation, sort of supplemental information that don't necessarily fall under the FARs, um, they doesn't need, necessarily need to be in the AIM, um, but they're just they're, they're supplemental knowledge for you. So Advisory Circular 107-2 helps you understand small unmanned operations within the national airspace system. So it's critical for you to understand the national airspace system in order to pass this exam and to operate safely within the national airspace system. You need to understand what you're um, what you can do, what you can't do, and understand what other people are doing so that you can anticipate and just have a safe operation. So you can use that um, advisory circular to help understand a little bit more about how small unmanned um, aircraft fit in the national airspace system. The next resource that the FAA publishes to help you prepare for the Part 107 written exam is the FAA Remote Pilot Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Study Guide. It's called FAA-G-82-22. So this is um, you know, another document that the FAA provides you to um, learn a little bit more about you know, what is expected of you on the Part 107 exam. It is essentially a study guide that you can use to make sure that you are covering all the materials that you need to cover in order to prepare for the exam. And then the last resource that I think is very important for you to study for uh, preparing for the Part 107 written exam that the FAA offers is the Aeronautical Information Manual or the AIM. You may see it in other places called the Airman's Information Manual. It was changed a little while ago, but you may see those, those different terms. They are the same thing. So the AIM is a document. It's another document that is essentially the lifeblood of any pilot. You need to know this document, you need to understand it. These are guidelines that the FAA has published for you as a pilot. And so you don't necessarily need to read the entire AIM and understand the entire AIM to pass the Part 107 exam. It is a good idea to have a good understanding of what is in there though, um, because if you're immersing yourself in this world of the you know, manned operations and the national airspace system, it's important to understand just what other people are doing. But you, um, in order to study for the Part 107 written exam, in the AIM you should study these different chapters. So chapter three is on airspace. Chapter four is on air traffic control. Specifically, you wanna study section one, services to all pilots. Section two, radio communications, phraseology and techniques. And section three, airport operations. You also wanna study chapter five, which is in air traffic procedures. Then you'll want to review chapter seven, safety of flight, specifically section one on meteorology, section five on potential flight hazards, section six, safety accident and hazard reports. You also wanna study chapter eight, which is medical facts for pilots, specifically section one, fitness for flight. And then chapter nine, aeronautical charts and related publications, specifically section one, the different types of charts available. So these are all the different resources that are out there that are free for you to study 
um, to prepare for the Part 107 written exam. Um, I have created a nice blog post where I have uh, curated all this content for you. You can click on the link in the description box below to read the blog post. You can also download it as a PDF and you can save it and print it off and again, use it as, a, use it as another checklist to guide you as you're preparing for the FAA Part 107 written exam. And so thank you. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe for more drone and drone education type YouTube videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.